Hello and welcome to the 12th devlog video for my game Kijimin Windborn Kin. Here we have some new content. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we got here. We have, if I can remember. All right, I have a story and side quest list. Um, you've seen this partially complete in the last devlog, I think but now it's fully fleshed out. You can track and untrack quest locations. The journal and scroll down and see it adds a waypoint marker to the quest location. And if I add a main quest here, We'll add the main quest location marker here, and if we fly to that area, um, the city will be highlighted. Also on the world map, that location is highlighted as well, along with the three um, quest locations that take the most priority. So main quests take priority over side quests, so if you have three main quests selected, this. The, we'll show the three main quest locations on the map and none of the none of the side quests. And likewise if you stop tracking any one of the quests, it'll start tracking the side quest instead. select all those little side quest locations and you'll see that they point off way in the yonder I have to um, still make this um, map draggable um, again there's a lot of code that enables that function it's just not enabled now because it was wasn't working properly as I drag this uh, all of the um, icons kind of uh, orbit the mouse so I need I need to go back and fix that Another um, big UI page that I'm working on now is the character and crew page. So here's the character and crew page. Um, before the player couldn't see any of their their character's features, now they can. I also have gone uh, with the decision of allowing the player character to choose their name. Um, and gender. So I'm going to go back and add another page to character creation, allowing the character to do that. You'll see that I have all of the uh, companions listed on the scrolling sidebar here. The key gem and familiar, because uh, you can select a key gem and has a companion. Um, is listed in the companion list because this is an intelligent creature, it's sentient, so it's able to equip uh, weapons and armor. So here we have the weapon slot and then the armor slot. Um, the same thing goes for each character, you can hover over uh, what they have equipped. Um, I haven't finished the, the secondary page where you click this and change up the equipment for that character, but that will be coming. Um, I also need to make these hoverable to tell you what they are. But in order, this is background, starting city, um, uh, profession. Um, actually, can't remember. <laughs> um, this is uh, artifacts. And then you have the advantages and disadvantages listed out, and the allies and enemies, um, which you selected during character creation. I think I'm going to actually shorten these, I don't think the player can have more than five um, enemies, so I'll probably shorten this box and extend out the, uh, the disadvantages and advantages box as their names are longer. Um, in this white box that's currently incomplete, uh, it shouldn't be scrolling to fix that as well. Um, but um, Yeah, it's just set to the wrong side. It's easy to fix. 
um, the box here will contain a list of all the characters features that are not covered by these icons here and give a numerical representation of the actual stat bonuses those things give uh, like it's done over here um, um, uh, uh, cable over here has 10% uh, orange affinity bonus because his familiar gemin is a grade 2 orange gemin and then uh, Emeralia uh, has a 20% orange affinity bonus because her gemin is grade 4 and the offense bonus and defense bonus come from the, the um, tier of the equipment so uh, because this is a tier based equipment system, the horizontal progression is within a tier, and the vertical progression increases tiers. So each segment of the story will have an expecta uh, expectation for the player of what tier they have equipped it to, their player, uh, to their characters, and uh, so when you go into combat, all of the enemies will be scaled to that tier level, and the combat difficulty will be determined by whether, uh, when you make a d20 roll, uh, it'll add the tier bonus to that, and the enemy rolls against with their tier bonus. So every tier bonus uh, is 5% to 10% better than the prior tier, and if you're going up against a um, military ship that has multiple pieces of equipment that are, you know, tier three or tier four or tier ten, because it's the max tier in this game, um, you'll get wrecked because you're going to be rolling, you know, uh, d20 plus two versus d20 plus ten plus ten, right? And it's just not going to go well for you. Um, but yeah, that's a uh, that's all I have for now. The character crew page is taking longer than I expected because of the complexity of having to manipulate the character um, character inventory. I had to add new uh, save file features. So I go over here to the Armada crew page. It's very similar to this, where each of the companions has an uh, a set of two equipment. Uh, pieces that they'll go into and equip a feature, except it won't be restricted uh, by where the character or where the ship is located, because a character can obviously equip and unequip um, their weapons and armors anytime they want. So yeah, uh, that's about the gist of it currently. After I finish the character and crew page, I think I have one more UI page to finish. Finish. I can't remember what that was, um, but I'll look into my to-do list. Um, and once all of those things are covered, I can work on outlining the story quest functions and then get start working on the battle system, which is a whole nether kind of uh, development process. I have also gone ahead and updated the store page for the game on itch.io. There is a link to the game page in the description of this video. I replaced all of the uh, screenshots for the game with animated GIF screen reels, so you can better see that the um, parts of the UI are animated like these blinking numbers here and these uh, uh, rolling rainbow effects on the outlines and it's not static and better shows that this pops up so got the slot machine in there too but I have to go ahead and re-export this file thanks for watching Thanks, bye.